Welcome back to Salt Lake City, Utah on this edition of the RMAC Showcase. With so many conference campuses so close to the mountains, it's a, a bit of a surprise that more schools don't offer an alpine skiing team. Well, Westminster is one that takes advantage of the geography and does so thanks to a very international collection of student athletes. The only school in the conference that offers an NCAA level ski team, Westminster, takes advantage of their prime location. We have certain things here uh, that are very unique that I think help us. I think our class sizes and the teachers working with the professors were kind of like a boutique and they get a good individualized uh, education, quality education, and then we're close to the mountains and then we try to uh, have uh, uh, get the right type of student athlete here that's motivated and uh, we've had good success uh, with throughout the years and hopefully we can continue on with that. One of the smaller schools in the country to offer the sport, the Griffins have had great success winning two national championships in the program's 11 year history and last year qualified five out of a possible six student athletes to the national finals. Uh, Fortunately, we've been uh, uh, fortunate to get some uh, student athletes that are very good uh, students. The team GPA in the 11 years we've been here is uh, cumulative over a 3.8, but then also they have good skill levels. The team atmosphere is important where they can develop their confidence and keep building. And the Griffins achieve a lot of the success with a very international roster of athletes. You still get exposed to the American culture and American people because all the students here, of course, most of the students are either from Utah or the, the States. Um, but having that European side makes you feel at home a little more. So I guess for whoever gets a little homesick, it's, it's good to have someone that understands your culture a little better. Their season begins just after the new year. Their off-season training regimen looks a little different. Coaches here, the soccer coaches, the basketball coaches, and the volleyball coaches give the kids clinics where we can uh, uh, improve their coordination and, and it's fun and it, I think it helps you know all of that movement. But we have specific stuff we do but I'm a big proponent of uh, trying to get uh, uh, other sports skills and, and it's fun and, and it helps their athleticism. With a student population of around 2,800 students, Westminster has a very tight community feel, and that's just one of the things that drew the new president to campus. So many wonderful things about Westminster, beginning with the faculty-student connection and the way that our faculty are dedicated to the students in every possible aspect of their lives, to the campus and its beauty. It's well laid out, it's well maintained, and it really is highly functional for everything we want to do, to the outstanding area that we're in. So we are a small campus, but we're connected to an urban environment and an outstanding, geographically, a spectacular landscape. Westminster has been very innovative for many years and sometimes in innovation we need to also reimagine and understand the importance of some of the foundations at the same time. So for Westminster that means making sure that we are integrating a high quality residential undergraduate experience with our graduate professional programs and making sure that everything we do really focuses on deep learning that can be applied to real life. In addition to greater and greater success in athletics, the whole institution is achieving greater prominence and recognition. We just climbed eight spots on the U.S. News and World Report Regional West rankings, so we're now tied for 12th in those rankings, as well as being noticed for, as a best college for veterans, best value college. We've been in Princeton Review as one of the top colleges and noted for being a green campus. We've also been noted by the Wall Street Journal recently as being a top college campus, so we're doing really, really well. Our students have won many outstanding honors from Fulbright's, Gilman, Truman Awards. Those are national level awards that are very difficult to get and our students have achieved that kind of recognition. We've made great strides in serving students, particularly those who are diverse, low income, first generation students and that's due to our efforts in diversity, equity, inclusion which are really outstanding for, particularly for Utah. That brings us to our final timeout on this edition of the RMAX Showcase. After the break, lacrosse wins the faceoff and takes over the airwaves. We'll be right back.